all in the last video we took a talk about the test studio so in this video we will talk about few of the assertions that we can do in our test studio so i am going to open my test studio which you can find from your left i'll click open test you can find more details about how you can uh, record tests in my previous video this is more uh, like a continuation to that video so please check that out so i am going to record steps for my test case so i'm just simply going to create a new record done now this is my test cases but what i can do is i can add a step that will uh, check whether uh, the assertion uh, whether the these test cases uh, assert whatever we have in vision so i can call it uh, assert So what so i can check whether the email that has been placed here is whatever i want to assert so so i want to check whether the email that he is being uh, placed here is exactly whatever I want it in my test cases. So what I can do is assert, and then the value that is data card value five, card uh, value five, and dot text. I want to check whether this is, uh, test email at gmail.com oops i need to have double quotation now if uh, this assertion is to uh, this test case passes but let's say if it's not then we can say uh, we can assert uh, these situations to check whether they pass these situations or not so i save this now see uh, it it is test at gmail.com here but my assertion requires is to be test email at gmail.com so probably it requires to be failed so i'm adding a new email and i my assertion is checking and see here that the assertion is failed so hence, uh, it's uh, it's stopped. Now, now same kind of assertions can be done in many scenarios. Let's say if uh, it it needs to go to a particular screen and it does not get slept. So this is our app, and what I want to do is uh, last and just remove this full name here. So I want to check that whether this goes to uh, first name or not. Uh, to to the so I'll just put it here and here and okay, this is good. So what I want to do is when this uh, is successful, when on success, I want it to go back, right? and let's put a specific screen let's say it's uh, i want it to go to browse screen so i'll just navigate uh, browse screen one so i have put browse screen as a screen that it needs to get when this uh, form is successful uh, so i'll just play this so let's say uh, my name is test and it's test again and then just put some random phone number and once it's successful 
needs to go to uh, the screen, which is working fine. So I'll create a new case and just delete this old one and I'll start recording I'll start recording again. Now I've just submitted it and it's going back to the uh, to the browse screen. So I'll just click done. Now I will now I will assert. So I want to check if the current screen is uh, browse one or not. So assert. asserting if the active screen is browse screen one or not if it's not i'll just put a message that it's a wrong screen now i'll publish it So since the assertion word, uh, it follows all the steps. If uh, if it, let's say we had cases and it went to a wrong screen, it should have shown an error. So apart from that, you can also uh, put some function uh, on different events that happens. So we have on test case start, on test case complete, or on test suite complete. So these are the steps where you can define certain uh, things that uh, you want it to execute when uh, uh, rather when an text is start or when uh, something is complete or when the suite is complete uh, overall. So in this scenario, you can uh, get different informations uh, like you can store what record was created, what record was ended uh, at the start or end. Uh, these are something that you can get uh, through different functions that we have been provided. For example, you can have something like test case result. And this test case result will give you uh, things like it's a start time, end time. So it gives you end time, fail time, you know, these all these things that you can have or traces. So you can, since it runs over the context of Power Apps itself, you can uh, also store it in SharePoint or any places that you want. Not just test case result, you can also have test suite results have the information that you get from test suite results sorry test suite results so you also have end time start time suite description suite id name so all this information either you want to store or you want to keep it somewhere uh, you can use this context to get that result uh, you can try it yourself and uh, do according to your cases and thank you so much for watching my video if you have any confusion regarding test studios and what it is for uh, please comment below for more videos like this please like and subscribe to my channel and see you in next video thank you so much